I'm going to quickly go over how to apply for a hunting license for the state of Colorado, uh, whether elk or deer or whatever. Um, so just if you Google non-resident hunting license for Colorado, you'll probably come up to the Colorado Park and Wildlife page. Down here, there's a, an option that says buy online. So you click on that. You'll put in your age and if you're a non-resident, and then that's going to bring you to this page here. Um, so you're going to have these options over here. So go to hunting first. All right. And that's going to take you to this page. You want the non-resident small game license. It's $93.78. So purchase that. It's going to go into your cart. And it's also going to make you buy a habitat stamp. Now, it, at that point, you're probably going to be asked to either create an account or log in. Now, I've bought licenses there before, so I'm in the system. I just use my driver's license number, and it brings me up, and I can sign in that way. If you don't have an account with them, if you never bought a license for them, you're going to have to set all that up. They're also going to want your hunter identification card or hunter certification card and the number. So you're going to also need to carry your hunter's certification card with you while hunting in Colorado. So make sure you, you have it on hand to set up your account and also make sure you bring it with you on the hunt. So once you put all that information in, then um, you'll, you've already put the small game license in your account. Now you're going to go back, you're going to continue shopping, and here you're going to go to Big Game Turkey Draw and Turkey Draws. So you click on this. Now if you want to go, let's say you're going to apply for a deer or an elk. So there's deer, elk. Uh, let's say you're going to apply for elk. You click on that and apply now. If you don't have the book with all the codes, then you're going to need to just look all the codes up online for the management units. So you got to know what management unit you're applying for, and there's a code for that unit. It's going to need that code. It's going to have, for elk, there's going to be a default E in the first box. It's already there. And then you put an E and then the code after that. Then you go ahead and click the apply button. You're going to have to, you know, agree to their terms. Then you're ready to check out. So now you have the small game license, the habitat stamp that they've already automatically put in there, and the $10 application fee for like if you're applying for elk, it's $10. So you're going to be around $115. They're going to ask you to select how you want it sent to you. Um, just I use standard mail. They do have an express mail, but that's like an extra $60 or something. I've always gotten my license with plenty of time using standard mail. Um, and then you can check out. So that's the application process. If you win the tag, let's say you're trying to draw an elk tag. If you get that, then they're going to charge you at that time. An elk tag is roughly $700, I believe, for a non-resident. Uh, a mule deer, I think, is between three and $400 or Somewhere, somewhere around that $400 range, you have to look up their exact prices. But they're going to charge that if you win the tag, you know, when the draw period is over. So I hope that helps. Um, you got it. The way they have it set up, you have to buy that small game license just to apply. Um, if you have any difficulties, they have a number that you can call. So just call the number and they can help you out. Um, God bless you. If you get out there on a hunt, God bless your hunt. Make sure you uh, are safe. There's bears and mountain lions, so uh, bring appropriate stuff, bear pepper spray, that type of thing. Um, if some, if you, if you're licensed to carry a pistol, there's people that do that as well. Just check all the regulations. Also, if you are fortunate enough to harvest something, make sure you read the rules. You actually have to keep the sexual organ attached. <laughs> Excuse me, attached to the animal. Uh, or to the meat, you know, uh, upon taking it out. So just read the rules. There's some things in there that are uncommon to other states that you need to follow to not get in trouble. Okay, I was going to end the video there, but then I remembered there's another important thing that I didn't mention uh, that some of you are going to need to know. So when you're 
putting in your application for your tag, let's say you're going for elk, um, there's going to actually be four lines that you can fill out. Your first line is your primary unit. This is the unit you're trying to get a tag for. They have three more options, but it's not set up to where you just put in other units. If, if I don't draw for this unit, then maybe I'll draw for one of these units. It's not set up that way. There are specific units that are eligible for those subsequent lines. The best thing to do is call. They have a a phone number for their website and currently selection number three is a hunt planner so you can call and ask any questions but let's say you're going for mule deer and you or let's say elk you're calling you call them up and say uh if i don't draw for this unit what units can i put in for these subsequent lines and they'll tell you what units you can put in and what your odds are and things like that uh, but that's I just put in the one unit and that's it. If I don't draw for that unit, I want the preference point that I'll get. And um, I believe those subsequent units do not take your preference points away. They, uh, I think you probably would still get a preference point, but um, I'm just going to wait until I draw a tag for the unit that I want. And that's just the way I approach it. So I only put numbers, a code on the very first line and that's it. Um, so anyhow, that's the uh, end of this video. I hope some of this information has helped. If you run into trouble, ask, call them up and ask questions. Just call select number three for the hunt planner and say, you know, what units, you know, can I apply for with this amount of points or, or things like that. And if you just want to buy a preference point, there is a code for that. I don't know it off the top of my head, but for many years I just went on and bought a preference point. And you can store up points till you're ready to go out on a hunt. Again, thanks for tuning in. Good luck to you if you get out there and God bless you.